Reporting for High School Sports On Demand, powered by Max Preps, I'm Lauren Brown. In the first round of the Texas Volleyball Invitational Pearland Tournament, the Lake Highlands Wildcats face off against the Pearland Oilers. A tough matchup, but both coaches knew what it would take to win. Good ball control and us just playing aggressive and serving aggressively, keeping them out of the system, working hard, playing as a team. Uh, we should uh, do well and hopefully get a lot of people in to play this match. Solid defense and we got to be smart offensively because they're a very strong defensive team. In the first set, Lake Highlands is serving first. Both teams step up their defense to keep the ball moving early. With good coverage on the court, it's the Oilers who make a move early as Madison Barron goes in for the kill. Later in the first set, Lake Highlands' Kendall Kegler serves to Pearland. The Wildcat defense steps up their game to avoid an attack by the Oilers. The Wildcats pass the ball back to Pearland, who can't handle the reception. Wildcats take the lead 2-1. to one. The Oilers respond. On their serve, the team fights to keep the ball alive. It pays off. Check out the solid teamwork by Katrina Morton and Nicole Kirstner to get the point. Pearland evens the score at two. The Oilers don't let up on the Wildcats after that. Now 6-3 in the first set, the Oilers dominate on the court. A strong serve by Nicole Kirstner. Her team backs her up with solid defense on the court, easily returning on the set. Nikki Van Dyke puts the ball away to give the Oilers a four-point advantage. Nicole Kirstner is on fire in this set. Check out her serve. The Wildcats can't even touch it. Oilers lead 8-3. If you missed the first serve, keep your eye on Kirstner's next serve as she does it again. 9-3 Oilers. Katrina Morton shows off her serve skills with an ace. That would put Pearland up 16-7 in the first set. The Oilers would continue to dominate in the first set, never letting up on the Wildcats and making sure their offense stayed strong in the set. Pearland takes the first set 25-11 over the Wildcats. In the second set, Pearland continues to show off their solid defensive game with a huge block by Jamie Huffnagel. Oilers take an early 1-0 lead in the second set. Later in the set, the Oilers continue to shut out the Wildcats with this block. 4-0 Pearland. Jamie Huffnagel keeps the Oilers in the lead with this unreturnable serve. 5-0 Pearland. Lake Highlands doesn't give up easily. They serve and fight to close their deficit. Mackenzie Mason goes in for the kill to cut Pearland's lead to 4, making it 6-2 in favor of Pearland. Pearland came to play in their match. Nikki Van Dyke keeps the Oilers on top as she moves in for the kill. 7-2 Pearland. Nicole Kirstner serves up an ace later in the second set to make it 10-4 Pearland. Kirstner made this serve twice as nice as she hammers in another ace. 13-4 Pearland in the second set. Pearland shows they were a force to be reckoned with in the second set as Nikki Van Dyke smashes the ball away to extend the Oilers' lead to 8. They would go on to win the second set, 24-10. In the third set, the Wildcats strike first, taking the early 1-0 lead after the Oilers can't return the Wildcats' serve. The Wildcats' Kendall Kegler serves again in the third set. The Oilers try to get the point, but it's the Wildcats' Dominique McQueen who goes in for the kill to make it 2-0 Lake Highlands. The Oilers don't stay down for long. They battle back in the third set with shots like this from Waverly Sadler. The Oilers' Katrina Morton extends the lead in the third set with serves the Wildcats can't even touch. That would make it 12-3 Pearland. The Oilers would take the third set 24-7. The Pearland Oilers would go on to win in three straight sets over the Lake Highlands Wildcats, winning 25-11, 24-10, and 24-7. We just tell them to stay at our level of play and don't come down to uh, level of play a little bit lower and keep the errors low and uh, real good passing and strong serving. And We just played well as a unit. Everybody got in to play. The whole team made a good team effort, and uh, it was a nice win for us. Reporting for High School Sports On Demand, powered by Max Preps, I'm Lauren Brown.